Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Echo Lands, issue number five, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue with the monologue with Terrace Desmond just going ham, looking for his gem, looking for his daughter, looking for Red Hope, who took his gem. And in this panel, we see Terrace Desmond just maiming and murdering across all these different lands. Mercy, show us mercy. We need you. No. And then everyone knows that Red Hope is the cause of all this destruction and death. Where this guy is like, that freaking bee. And Terrence Desmond's like, where is she? And she, and he uses his smoke to strangle him and choke him around the neck to get answers. Where is Red Hope? Now, in the last issue, we left off with Red Hope and gang in the metaphysicist lair. Rosa, the vampire, is going through some treasures and wondering, when will the rocker be ready? Well, soon. Very soon, I hope. Well, how soon is soon? And what's all this crap or junk that you have over here? It's garments and stuff that I found throughout centuries of my findings. And I was told that one day they'll be needed. And here you are. And I like how this double panel with what's going on with the Hope and, and her gang with the metaphysicist and his, and his lair or whatnot. And also what's going on with Rabbit who was lost in issue number three or two, I don't recall, when they ran away on the ship and they got, you know, attacked by a giant serpent. And Rabbit can't swim, so he got washed ashore in this transformer looking like Landis, transformers look like ro robot, looking like Optimus Prime. His name is Ryosho. So Rabbit gets carried on by him and he's like, where is everyone? I don't understand. I see everyone. I mean like people like me, not machines. Oh, well that's forbidden, you know? Ryosho's like to Rabbit, look, you are forbidden and the Bancho must decide your fate. What do you mean my fate? Well, you cannot stay and we cannot leave. So I can't predict how the Bancho are rule. Well, will they want to hurt me? Unlikely. What? We remain here so that we will not harm, even by accident or inaction. No one knows, and Rabbit's uncertain. He's like, okay, maybe I should have just stayed in the ocean. Now, what's more interesting to me is we get a panel right here of Rosa and her love, and her love and her husband, and what that means to her, and the mementos that she clutches onto and holding on to. That's cool. I, I get the love story that moves the story forward, but what's more interesting is. Rabbit on this Transformer Island that has to meet this guy Bancho. So is Bancho gonna kill me? What, what, what's gonna happen? And then Rio shows like the Bancho's not one, but many. We are very near. I don't know how long, but this will make. But they'll make us wait. Okay. Do you guys have any food? Cause I'm really hungry. Food. We do not eat. Well, I better find a way out here before I starve, says Rabbit. You understand what that means, right? If I starve, and <laughs> Ryosha just looks ahead towards his purpose to get to Bancho like we do not eat. So Rabbit, I don't know what you're gonna do, bro, but that's up to you. Then we get a conversation between Castrum and Dina about do they really need, why are they going through all this with Terra's Desmond and Red Hope? I mean, why not just give the gem back so he could just let us go? Well, no, it's too late because He'll never let her live, especially that we know the gem means that much that much importance to him. And we know that the gem is a key of some kind. So now they're coming up with a plan where, where can they go? Should they fight? Should they stay? Should they go to a place? Should they hide? Should they abandon it or stick, or stick together as a team? But meanwhile, back in Rabbit in this other panel right here, Ryosho tells Hanzo that we must interface with the Bancho for the judgment. And Hanzo's like, impossible. The Bancho has begun a hard reset. No interface can be received. Can be received. Then what do we do? What is it? Um, Rabbit. And he's like, I'm not an it. I'm Rabbit and I was washed up on the beach. And they're like, well, that is not allowed. So Rios was like, so what do we do with it? Hanzo was like, okay, this query renders only zeros because there is no record of the past arrival to inform a better result. So in other words, they have no history. That was the last words of Hanzo. No precedent, so they don't know how to make this decision. And they can't predict how they'll rule. And they can't predict how the bancho will rule. Hanzo was like, I don't know, the laws, greater good must prevail. But don't get too attached to this rabbit, Ryosha. So back to Castrum and Dina's conversation again in this panel. Exchanges of back and forth where the safest place is to go. They deduce that the best place to go is to Horror Hill because it's made for monsters. It's the only place where they belong. And even though some people have some beef or Horror Hill, they have some honor that they have to honor that'll protect it from Terra's Desmond's and his destruction. But we'll see how that goes. So meanwhile, Ryosha takes rabbit to the Boncho and he's right, they're not one. There are many. So it's like all these robots integrating, we are here, why are you? But every word is spoken by a different robot in fragments, 
Robot one speaks we. Robot two says are here. Robot number three says what are you? And the four number four says here. And but they speak in one word, but each word completes a sentence. Well, so when Ryoshin tells them we need a verdict on this one, the Bancho was like, well, what do you want? And Ryoshin's like, rabbit, they're speaking to you. Oh, okay. Well, what I want is I want to leave. Well, then leave quickly then, go. But each word is, is spoken by a different Bancho. Well, I can't swim, I can't fly, I can't disappear, I can't astral project, I can't teleport. I'm kind of stuck unless you guys have a boat. Well, we don't have a boat, but you cannot stay. You've been here too long and you must be quarantined because we don't know who you are and we have no data on you because we don't know, but we stay here on this secluded island, isolated from all human forms of contact. Every moment you spend with us, we learn more about you. And we know you need food to survive. You weigh 42 kilograms. So as they're prologuing his, how Rabbit can get off this island, they're also figuring out, well, this guy is kind of weak. He has no powers. The more we know, it makes it easiest for us, easier for us to kill him. So Ryoshin tells the Bancho to stop. Let us explain. Do not kill him. Well, fair play, says one Bancho. The other Bancho like, speak concisely. We are sentiment artificial intelligence, right? Yes, in every reality they are. So in turn, it is in our, co in our code in the stars, is it that? And he explains his plea to let Rabbit live. Meanwhile, Core and, and Hope, <laughs> they're, 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 you know, doing some adult business. But in the meantime, during their adult business, they, they realize, well, instead of running, and this is more in one of those post-nut clarity after Core bus or whatnot, or actually Hope, sorry, in her post-nut clarity, she realized that instead of running away from Terra's desert, why not we just unite and fight? Because for every destruction path that he kills, there's at least 10 more people that will ban and unite to stop him. Of course, like, you know what? That is a powerful wizard that we do not stand a chance with going head on. You know that. So when they leave the room, Rosa's like, well, you must be done finally shooting dust core. <laughs> All right. So they want to fight, but the but here they have a debate because the crew wants to escape to Horror Hill. But the thing is, even though Horror Hill is certain death, but they know Dina's right. You know, the other girl from the previous panel talking to Castro because it's the only place they know they'll be safe. And it turns out Rosa's brother runs Horror Hill, but as long as he sits on the throne, He'll be honor bound to protect us. But Hope's like, no, I don't want us to be safe. I want to be more than safe. I want us to be ready to kill that freaking wizard when he finds his track is down. And how are we going to do that? I don't know. We're going to raise an army one pissed off victim at a time. That's what Hope is thinking about. So back to Rob Robot and his judgment. He learns a little bit of history about the robots and every story about smart robots ever told, you guys became killer robots. We don't know, but long ago, Bancho decided that we would purge all knowledge of the outside world and live in seclusion here on Meta Maru Mountain. So they tell Rabbit, the reason why they want to kill you is if they know nothing about your kind, perhaps we will be defeated. Deactivated, disintegrated, destroyed. When we finally go wrong, we can't allow you to infect us. So there must be some other way besides killing him. So Ryusha started to get attached to this guy, to Rabbit. And and the judgment is, hey, you can take him, you can fly home, but it's against all laws to let him die, you know? So, Ryoshin, just to protect our kind, if you take him, you must never return, never. Not even after your power core fades or your body rusts and your mind is left adrift. You, and Ryoshin's like, I accept, I understand. I wonder why he did that. So back with the Metamorphosis Sanctorum, Hope gives this wizard or this alien looking wizard the gem. And he doesn't know what it is. I hope like, don't mess with me. I, I don't know what it is. And I hope was like, well, great. I was half hoping you offer to take the curse of the thing off my hands. And he's like, what, invite Terra's demon to tear down my sanctum like his daughter sank the treasure island from the previous issue? No, thank you. Meanwhile, in this panel, we see that Romola is from the previous issue when he explored the island. He lives and he merges from the water and he is looking for revenge. So in other words, perhaps Hope can recruit him to fight Terra's desert. So we hear all this, Ryoshin tells him, tells Rabbit a little bit more about themselves. Why did you do this? I know you live forever, but you're, but you're, when you die, your, your consciousness transport and you go into another body, right? But why did you take on this mission to take me home? Why did you do that? And Ryoshin's like, well, I suppose it means if I die, but to die on an adventure, that will be a good death. Now, Rabbit's like, okay, well, I just got to keep you from breaking. So we understand that Ryoshin did this because it's something new. It's something to venture. And he, if he dies doing this, it's a good death in his eyes. Now, we see this rampage that Taros Desmond is doing. And he's going ham looking for his daughter. Where's my daughter? Don't do this to us. You know, we're, we're Romulus' people, but we'll serve you. You're loyal to Noah. And he does some kind of spell makes her head explode with meat 
crock pot soup with blood. We end the issue with him finding his daughter throughout the rubble. Now Hope is trying to get an army together. And it turns out there's a lot of motivation here because there's a lot of damage and destruction that was caused along the way. With Hope taking the dying, which we have a better understanding what it is. We know the key is it's the key to excavating their past, but it doesn't fully explain the story. At least I didn't get the full explanation of it. At the same time, a lot of exposition here, but this is an exciting and fun read in my personal opinion. If you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection, link in description. I think it was fun and I'm looking forward to how this issue concludes in issue number six when that does come out and I will be doing a review on it. So with that being said, Echo Lance, issue number five. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy and don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.